Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. In today's video, you guys are going to be watching my first V2 rocket, which is essentially the MOAB or the nuke in this game or the DNA bomb or the nuclear, whatever you want to call it. This is the V2 rocket. It's a 25 gun streak and I get my first one here. I got it yesterday or last, well, last night, kind of late night. So I guess technically early morning today and um, this was insane. So I'm going to keep talking to you guys about it, how to get an easy one and stuff like that. If you guys could drop a like on this video, 2,000 likes would be amazing. I'm so hyped I got this. It did take me a while to get, but once you get the hang of it, you can really get on a roll and be rocking out. So I'll be giving you guys all the tips. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like on this thing. And this is my first V2 rocket. I got it with a Type 100, but I also picked up, I think, like an MP40 and a PPSH along my travels. Now, the only thing I cut out of this is the halftime, because obviously that would just be the halftime, you know, the play of the game and stuff like that. But this was actually around like a four minuter. So it's kind of honestly pretty fast for my first one. I thought my first one would be five or six minuters shaking in my boots in the back of my spawn waiting for an enemy to come. But I was sort of rushing and, you know, obviously I pl played it smart towards the end. I'm going to give you guys tips on how to unlock this so and how to get one. So first of all, you have to unlock this. This is not default on everyone's account. The way to get this unlocked is that you actually have to prestige each of your divisions once. Now, once you do that, there's no indicator saying that the, the V2 rocket is on your account. If you get a 25 gun streak, that it will pop up. So you just have to, you know, that was one thing I was worried about. Am I going to get this gun streak and is, is it just not going to pop up because I didn't do all the steps right? But it is fairly straightforward. There's five divisions. You have to prestige them all once. That is it. And then you have to go out there and get a 25 gun streak to get this V2 rocket. What the V2 2 rocket does is essentially what the Moab does from MW3. Kills everyone on the other team. It doesn't really change the color of the map like the Moab does, but it kills everyone on the other team, and then you just keep on playing the game. So it doesn't end the game like a nuke. There's been some rumors that there's like a 50 gun streak that ends the game like a nuke or something like that. I'm not sure if that's true, but as of right now, the V2 rocket is all that we have available. So how do you get this? Of course, once you prestige all your divisions, that's the easy part. Now you have to go out there and get a 25 gun streak. So I'm going to give you guys some of the tips and stuff like that. As far as a class setup goes, I recommend there's two different class setups you can go. One was the infantry with like the bar or a super strong assault rifle. I was using that class setup. I got on like a 22 gun streak and like a 19 and a 20. I was failing a lot, but I find that on maps like Arden's Forest or on those bigger maps, it is good to use that. The only downside to that one is that there's no silencer on the gun, so you can't be as stealthy. However, the infantry setup with a strong assault rifle, mainly the bar, which is the best assault rifle, can be very, very good. The other one is by using this SMG class setup. And you can use this with any one of your favorite SMGs. I was using PPSH, I was using Type 100. Basically, the reason why you like using Airborne with it is because then you have the silencer, which keeps you stealthy. And of course, as far as my basic training, I like to use Primed so that I can ensure that I win those gunfights. Because there's going to be tough getting 25 gun kills in a row. Not all of the gunfights are going to be shooting someone in the back or the side. You're going to get into some tight gunfights. And that's why I recommend Primed. As far as the attachments that were on my Type 100 um, uh, they were quick draw extended mags and rapid fire you know I'm still gonna be experimenting with this and doing a type 100 class stuff very soon for you guys but I think this gun definitely is good I still need to test out all the different attachments and stuff like that but that's what I was rocking with now as far as play style 25 kills isn't a super high amount you know it's definitely lower than 30 but it's definitely not easy to get this and you can see me get it right there it pops up on as like a, a kill streak and I only had two kill streaks on for this game and I guess we can talk about that right now the reason why it's not super easy to get in this game is because in other games you had stuff helping you get it in MW3 and COD Ghost for the chem strike and the Moab you had specialists which allowed you to get extra perks on the way to your streak and of course um, AW you had the UAV and you had uh, the jammer or whatever it was called that would jam their radars and stuff like that and in uh, other games where you went for nuclears in like BO, BO3, BO2, you would have, of course, UAV, counter UAV, and, and a hater or VSAT. So in this game, it's kind of tough because the only two kill streaks that can really help you here are the UAV and the counter recon. Now, the UAV is great. It's awesome. It's 500 points per kill or 500 points to, to get one. You call it in. It works very, very well. The only discrepancy there is that the minimap kind of sucks, but getting a UAV is definitely 100% good. Um, as far as the counter recon, it doesn't work like a normal counter UAV works in this game, and it kind of sucks. Basically, you would think counter recon, counter UAV, you call it in, it jams their radar, but unfortunately, that's not how it works in this game. I'm not sure why they tried to take away from the 
traditional counter UAV. This counter UAV in this game kind of sucks to be honest. All it does basically is if you call it in and the enemy has a UAV up, it will destroy their UAV. And also if they if they have a UAV up or if they don't have a UAV up, it does it allows them to not call in any future UAVs while that counter UAV plane is up. But it does not jam their radar, and that's something that took me a while to figure out. Their radar is still completely normal, they just can't have UAVs on it for the time of that counter UAV. So it's honestly kind of useless, and I see a lot of people who are going for um, these uh, V2 rockets run just UAV, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna run just UAV. However, the counter UAV is only 25 more points than the UAV, so it's kind of like, hey, why not run two killstreaks? Of course, you can have up to three killstreaks, but I said, hey, why not? If it's 25 more points, it's not gonna take out of your, your cycle, because of course, the reason you wanna have less killstreaks on is so you can cycle through them faster and get more while you're on your streak, but 25 more points, I decided to just run both of these. It can sort of protect you because um, when you have those counter UAVs cycling through, the enemies can't use UAVs. Now, the thing about that is that um, the gaming mode that I was playing was Domination, where it was like 50 points a kill, so it was super hard to get UAVs, and that's where I want to talk about next. What is the best game mode to get? So you guys know the best kill streaks, you guys know the class ups I like. The best game mode, in my opinion, probably the easiest ones... Uh, well, it all depends. There's a bunch of different game modes. Domination, in my opinion, is one of the best. But the issue with Domination is you basically have no help. Because all you have is the UAV and the Counter Recon. And they take about 10 kills each to get. So, because Domination is only 50 points per kill, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. It is my favorite game mode in Call of Duty ever. And I don't know why they kind of ruin it in this game. It still is the best game mode, in my opinion. But it's sort of like your gun on gun. You can't really use your kill streak. So, other game modes that can be good are, of course, Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, I've seen a lot of people doing, and TDM. I think TDM would probably be the best game mode, um, as well as Domination. Because in that game mode, you're getting 100 points per kill. So, every 5 or 6 kills, you're going to be cycling a UAV and a counter recon and you're basically if you're playing it smart you know playing semi-aggressive you're gonna have uav up the whole damn time however the issue with tdm in this game once again is that it's up to 75 not up to the 100 that we've seen the past few call of duty games so if you don't get on a streak pretty much instantly off the start of the game you can find yourself oh my gosh i'm on a 20 streak and there's only 10 kills left i gotta rush my ass off and it can really pressure you into some bad gunfights and bad situations that you can lose so as far as game mode there's no game mode is perfect Perfect for this, um, but uh, Kill Confirmed is also another one that can be fairly good, but you run into that same issue of TDM, which the game ends fairly quickly compared to Domination, Hardpoint, um, and even CTF in some situations. So that's what I would say as far as your class up, your game mode, um, your kill streaks, and stuff like that. As far as the actual play style, this is what's tough. Now, how I've been playing it and the people on my call, I think this is the best way to do it. Just play casually, play normally, don't worry about it. If you if you stress about this, you're going to you know end up breaking your your damn TV screen. And and then as soon as you notice that I'm on it, you're on a 10 gun streak, and that's how I've been playing. This is how I've had the most success. When I try to go for it every single life, I get very, very frustrated. But what I do is I just play casually, and when I see that medal pop up, you'll have a medal that'll pop up every five kills for Bloodthirsty, uh, Relentless, Merciless, all that sort of stuff, right? So when you see that 10 pop up in your screen, start to play it a little bit slower. And then of course, if you get to a 15 or you're on like a 17 or 18, honestly play fairly campy and safe and let the enemies come to you and be able to finish that kill streak off i had some issues where i was on like a 23 or 24 in flak tower and the game ended because i was playing too much like a pussy so you have to manage your time and your kill streak and it does take some talent and some work don't be mad everyone fails on some 20s and stuff before they end up getting this but once you get your first i believe they'll be a lot easier in the future and you can find more comfortable play styles with it mine was a fairly fast one that's sort of because London Docks is a fast paced map, and I sort of cycled around an area that I'm comfortable around with a gun that I'm comfortable around, and I backed up and played on head glitches when I noticed that I was on a 10 15 streak. That's definitely the best way to play it as of right now to get these V2 rockets. I think we're going to be seeing people get doubles, triples, and all that sort of stuff throughout this game's life cycle. Of course, the game just came out a week ago, people are already dropping a bunch of V2 rockets, and I think that 25 is reasonable where they put it at. What makes it sort of hard is that. 
you don't have much help. All, all you have is UAVs and the counter recon, which isn't as useful as Specialist or as the Hater Advanced UAV was in previous Call of Duty games. But I definitely think you guys can do this if you play it smart and use these tips that I gave you guys today. Good luck at everyone to get their first V2 rocket. And I think that this year we're going to have a ton of V2 rockets. I know I'm going to be you know, going for a, a bunch with different weapons and stuff like that. Um, but main, mainly my next focus right now that I got the V2 rocket out of the way and I was kind of stressing for that is I think I'm going to just be trying to level up this double XP weekend and go for some gold or camo and diamond SMG. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully these tips will help you get a V2 rocket. Of course, this isn't for everyone. Only You have to be a really good player to get 25 gun streak, but these tips definitely will help. Subscribe, Drop a like if you made it to the end of the video. Subscribe for a cookie and don't looky and I'm out. Peace.